Hey guys. All right, I just want to put this video up because I've just uh, just got a booking. Uh, I've just gone through, you know, all the crap and all that sort of thing. But uh, something that she asked me, I thought I've heard these stories before, and I want to bring them up. Um, she you know, went through everything, and she asked me, uh, would it be okay if I didn't surf the internet while doing her wedding? I'm like, excuse me? Yeah, well, a friend of hers, uh, they, a while ago, they had a DJ um, at their wedding, and this guy was sitting down, surfing the internet, and apparently through the night, up come the blue screen of death. Well, that's what I call it. In other words, his hard drive crashed, some virus got into it, and all this sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, it took him about half an hour or whatever to reboot, work out his problems or anything like that. Now, I'm putting this up because if you, any of you out there do that, I mean, what, what are you thinking? You don't do things like that. And basically, I, I don't care, it's not my gig. <laughs> you want to do it, do it. Problem is, there are things that some DJs do that hurt the rest of us. No one will book us because they think this is what we do. And that kind of pisses me off a bit. Now these, these things are, after seeing that, <laughs> these things are, are DJs who sit down at a gig. You don't sit down. Um, you don't, if you're on the net or anything like that, unless you got, you know, some subscribe thing to iTunes or whatever for requests and you're able to download and play a track for someone, you use your internet for that. Um, you don't sit there, surf the web and look at porn or whatever. I mean, Jesus Christ, you, you want to get the blue screen of death on your screen, porn's a great way to go about it, and especially who does that at a gig. Um, don't be so ignorant as to not take requests. People ask for requests, if it's in reason, you do it. I mean, I don't understand people who don't do that anyway, because the way I see it, as long as people are making requests on that, I means you don't have to think, you know, I mean, a lot of us would have been at gigs before, we were a little bit stumped. Things aren't happening too well, we're a little bit, you know, stumped and it's like, what do I do? Nothing's sort of really working. Sometimes a request will make things work, other times it won't. But uh, take requests, for Christ's sake. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to bring this up because it's not a case of, okay, if anybody out there does this sort of stuff, oh well, whatever. Um, you're not going to get a booking from these people again. But what really grinds my gears uh, it's not what's happening to you, it's what's going to happen to the rest of us. People won't hire a DJ because they think this is what we do. And most of us know this is not what we do. But I also, after hearing about that, I had a look on the net. And I come across some DJs out there putting stuff on YouTube. I don't know them, I haven't subscribed or whatever. But there they are, sitting down on their fat ass with their bloody laptop and all that sort of thing. They're thinking this is cool. There was one at a wedding. So, I mean, you just don't do this sort of stuff. Um, anyone who would have been in the industry for years, you know, like a lot longer than me, would be horrified at this sort of thing. You just don't do that. All right, guys, well, that's enough of me carrying on like a moaning, groaning bitch. And I've uh, got a few gigs on this weekend. I don't think I'll be filming. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually ask uh, Friday night at the club if they mind if I do some videoing and I'll have to announce you know, because it's a public place and I'll be doing some videoing. Anyone who doesn't want to be on camera, please let me know, rah, rah. But I've got to ask their permission first. So I really want to film. The night's getting really good. I'll tell you what happened last Friday. Not happy. This guy that I actually know, he's a DJ. He used to work for the same company I worked for. He was half pissed. He got up, did a song, called up the next guy. He went to hand the mic, and as the other guy's going to grab it, He's dropped it, the thing's gone clunk on the ground. And from the rest of the night, I had trouble with that mic. This is just me cracking it. But uh, yeah, that's fine. He can come back next Friday or Friday after whatever. He's got no hope in hell of getting back on a mic. It's just not happening. I got on the mic and I'm like, you know, I said to him, I said, oh, it's all right. They're only worth about five cents each. What are you doing? 
What I should have said was, you're a DJ, you should know better. But, yeah, the point of the time, who's to know? But, uh, yeah, so even people who know, you know, not to do something, when they're drunk, they still do it. Yeah, well, I got a, I got multiple mics and that. I'm just going to check and see what's wrong with the mic or the lead. And it just kept cutting out, so I got to figure that out. Anyway, guys, uh, probably no videoing for this weekend. I won't be doing videoing Saturday night. It's just a wedding anyway, so um, we'll get next week. I think it's either engagement or 21st uh, or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, practice and enjoy, guys. And stay off your ass. Stand on your feet. Bye, guys.